This video shows you how Stephen Curry dominated 2022's NBA Finals. The chef hoisted up 12 three-point attempts per night over six games against Boston and somehow still made an elite 44% of those deep-range bombs. Despite attempting 23 shots each outing, Curry's shooting line was around 50-40-90 and he still found a way to tack on six rebounds, five assists, and two steals per game. Most impressively was Steph's Michael Jordan-esque 31.2 point per night average on a true shooting mark of 62.6% which is insanely high considering where Curry attempts the majority of his shots from. You're about to see a deep film room examination on how Stephen Curry obliterated any defense put in front of him on the biggest stage of them all. Right before that, just 15% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, please leave a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference in YouTube's algorithm. Making the baby-faced assassin the best player in the league right now isn't just the fact that he's the greatest deep-range shooter of all time. After drawing gravity, Curry can read and react to doubles, traps, or any defensive coverage better than any player I've ever seen. What goes so overlooked about Curry is the four-time champion's movement without the basketball and how he baits the defense into thinking he's running off a pin down to receive a pass and using that attracted attention to dictate the flow of the Warriors' offense. But of course, the most mind-blowing element in Stephen Curry's bag is the greatest point guard of all times, stone-cold, assassin-esque mentality to step up when the pressure reaches its peak. As a one-man attack, despite the Celtics having a generational defense all you can do as a fan is appreciate how Curry put the Warriors on his back and carried them to the finish line. In the first four games of the NBA Finals, you can use this screenshot from ESPN to compare Curry's efforts to Michael Jordan back in 1991 against the Lakers. What Steph did in these finals will never be forgotten. After Draymond pushes it up in transition, off-handed assists like this one display how on a string that Curry and Green are at all times. Of course, this play also showcases the mind-blowing, all-time great 30-plus foot jump shooting range from Steph, which allows him to stop on a dime after a full sprint down the court and perfectly one-two step into a bomb from the virtual finals logo. Along with that fundamental one-two step and unlimited shooting range, it's also the balance that Steph has, which he works on all off-season long, that comes in handy on plays like this one where despite the high ball screen from Gary Payton II, Tatum gets right around it and fouls Curry, but despite the contact, Steph somehow finds the altitude, strength, and as I said, balance to drain a heavily contested would-be four-pointer if they added the line. I'm still trying to figure out how he made that shot. Here, he dices up Derek White with an in-and-out dribble in the backcourt. Draymond keeps an eye on the play and sets the perfect on-ball screen, and this time Curry gets the four-point play opportunity. Give credit to the newest member of my Toronto Raptors, Otto Porter Jr., for flying up to set this on-ball after Steph crosses half, but fading to his right and with Derek still getting a hand up in his grill, the degree of difficulty on this shot is insane. Showing off his underrated handle and soft touch, he goes behind the back to his left on this play to freeze Jalen Brown and take in all the height and backspin he gets on this teardrop over Horford. With Big Al out on an island, Steph puts him in the blender and fakes the step back jumper while keeping the dribble alive and then fearlessly explodes past the Celtics center with his speed off the bounce and he rubs it in the Celtics fans face right afterwards. In an inverted split action with Kevon Looney dishing from the top of the key instead of the post, Steph comes off a Thompson down screen, and despite the pin and screen from Looney barely making contact, Steph still fights his way to the bucket, embracing Jalen Brown for the tough finish, plus the foul. Converting one of the toughest buckets he made in the finals, with two Celtics switching onto him after this screen, as Horford blocks the drive and Brown presses up, Steph whips out his patented space-creating step back right in their faces, he gets hyped after it, the Celtics call timeout, really one of the momentum shifting shots of the finals. In some form, there's going to be a part two to this video, but closing out the film room today with some flaming hot sauce from the chef. Here, he crosses over, hesitates, and goes behind the back on Peyton Pritchard while Otto sets the high ball screen. Then he leaves Jalen Brown in the dust with two fake step backs, one from the three point line and one around the foul line, giving Curry enough time to go back to his right after taking off past Brown with his left hand. But for you, 
What was the most memorable moment for Curry in 2022's NBA Finals or just the playoffs in general? Best answer down below in the comments section gets next video shoutout. Two shoutouts to Dylan Popoff and James from my last two uploads. Top three commenters by September 21st earn a free NBA shoe. If you're in the top five, you win a free jersey. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops, and I'll see you next video.